Alright people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday, and that means we're using Evo FC. So, we're using the one that we used last time with the level eaters, the return of level eaters, and the more XC based. You know, I got a couple of comments, like, like you know, a couple of thumbs up saying, yeah, this is, we like this. So we're going to try it again and uh, see how it is going. So, uh, hopefully it goes well. You know, the level eaters have a more synergy with the, you know, Evo XC play. So, hopefully we can pull some things off. So, this hand is not terrible. No, it's not terrible. Let's go ahead and set that. Set that. I'm starting to run Torrental just because of like more destruction. Just Torrental just because I want to destroy you bell more often. Get you bell more involved in these duels. So, it's no surprise I draw it. You know, it's definitely a number generalized card. So, so he's going to go ahead and normal summon that. Wow, so he's going to special summon that, then MST. When I was gonna, totally going to Torrental his ass. Like, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 just like, special summon, like, okay, that's fine, I'll wait for your normal summon. MST, like, nigga, <laughs> if I knew you were gonna just do, why don't you use MST before you fucking did that, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, am I gonna get Infinity Dot deck, you're just gonna go Goblin Bird, special summon someone, XC and Tepatola Myos, and fucking slap on fucking Infinity? Fucking... Trick clown fucking clown blade dot deck. The wall of chain. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I said the wall of chain just overextends plays. Yeah. It, it, it's it, it's always been that kind of degenerate card just because it allows you to go a step further by sending more additional monsters to the graveyard. So you're gonna of course gonna go ahead and send trick clown, then take a thousand, summon trick clown, yep. You know, of course, poke me with this. I'm gonna take all the damage. And of course, it's gonna add a heroic card. Like, it's not looking good for me right now. Definitely not. Cause they decide to give this thing a whole bunch of shit. Like, oh, your special summon if your opponent controls monster and you don't. Also has pierce and it also inflicts damage. It searches like, yo, that's a shit. It's like three really great effects all slapped into one 1800 beater. Like. Go ahead and search for your, uh, your Thousand Blades. Yep, there it is. And, of course, I'll take the 1800 from the Wobble Chain. Is that some background? Nope. See you again. Okay. Thousand blades in his hand, it's really not doing much. Another level chain. And I said, Do I think level chain should be uh banned? No. Do I think level chain should be limited? Yes. <laughs> send thousand blade. Oh, send, oh, he's gonna place a trick hatter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that question right there. Alright, there you go. You literally beat the living shit out of me and I couldn't do any place. Awesome. No, I don't want to fucking rematch. I don't want to fucking duel against fucking Tom Blade. Fucking MST's my Torrento, but then you get your number generalized Book of Moon. It's like, god damn it. Like, you know what? I don't want to play anyone. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't want to play anyway. Okay. I think one level will chain. Multiple. Because when it comes to, when it comes to multiple level chains, that's when you get Saki with it. No one ever uses more than one level chain unless they're planning on getting Saki with it. So, there you go. It's never just like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just playing you know, multiple level chains. Since like, it's always something Saki. Clown Blade, Saki, fucking, you know, zombies, looping, Saki, OTK, FTK. It's like I said, it... The ball chain is never one of them cards that should be at more than one. You know, I put in the same boat as Foolish. Same boat as Foolish. Definitely. Hmm. 
There's not much I can do right now. I guess I can go mass chameleon summon you bell. There's not much I can do. Oh, well, as soon as he kills my level leader, I'll have three different levels so I can use my Sigil bottle, so. Go ahead. Just don't course I didn't trust that back row like usual. What's the problem with Ebel Exceeds? I always gotta really overextend and use a lot of cards, and if you hand in my place, I will pretty much lose, so. Alright, another Starlight, Star and Bright, so. I can message in your bottle. Is that okay? I wish it was uh, not Starlight Star Bright, but Galaxy Queen's Light instead. Of course, the problem with freaking uh, uh, Starlight Star Bright is that uh, it doesn't turn out and get a knight like Galaxy Queen's Light does. It's just level leader. So I can make level leader level 10 and it can go into like, uh, you know, a door or something, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. If I summon you, it's in your objects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. I'm with some mask killing. Of course, no effect, because I don't even have any targets, so just normal summoning it. Oh, wait, this card can't be normal summoned if I control a level 10 or higher, which of course I do. My bad, my bad. Totally forgot about that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and activate. Stellar Star Bright. Uh, level Eater. Level. Ten. Yep, it has to be. I would rather keep the U bell on the field, but uh, it has to be you. So, just go for Dora. All right, not gonna take my four thousand. I mean, now I can summon the masculine, but there'd be really no point. Door attack. Gain something else. Door effect. Doors effect. You can attach two material, target one face up monster, and target door itself, and then it's unaffected by other card effects till the end of the turn. So it's unaffected by your mirror force, so you're dead. Deck 12. Powerful Dora. Alright. More background. Some monsters be background. I mean, I'm really dealing with that bitch right now. I might turn on again into attack mode just to declare an attack on her, even though I'm zero attack. Then have Mass Chameleon attack her. Kill her, and then I'll just run over the the blue eyes. So, it seems like some kind of blue eyes dragon deck. So I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of like silver skies back there and stuff like that. So, so go.
declare an attack, which of course you just be like, nope, negate your attack, summon blue eyes, which is fine, because I wanted you to do that. Because nothing would have happened, but, you know, I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and beat you out with that effect, so. So I'd mask million, kill that bitch. Another one. Kill that bitch, I don't care about the blue eyes, I want her gone. can't run over my door and I really don't care what just do. Just card one card, add up to two dragon type monsters zeros. Okay, I guess. You can discard the trade in which I thought you were gonna go ahead and use in the blue eyes. Add two blue eyes. Alright. What you're gonna go ahead and activate Polly, go into Blue Eyes Ultimate? That'd be interesting. Like, <gasps> I'm gonna trip this and another Blue Eyes. Yep. Yeah, I mean, his name is hashtag Blue Eyes 2100, so. Ooh. Summoning Terror. Yes. Nigga, I'm not questioning you about blue eyes. Don't question me about you, Bell. Your Bell effect resolves in grave. Mask only negates on field. I'll mask me and summon you bell with the effect negates. Effect negate on the field, but when you destroy you bell, I resolve in the grave. I was destroyed. I'm summoning Terra Incarnate. Like I'm not questioning No. <laughs> That's like, you break through scale a fucking monster, and it has a graveyard effect. It's like, break through scale your Sangan. Kill your Sangan. Effects don't negate it. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> if you break through scale a Sangan, <laughs> and then destroy it, do you still get effect? Same situation. Your bell resolves in grave. Same exact situation. So you can go ahead and quit if you want to. I'm right. Like, oh my god, these people, it's just like, really? Sure, that's what you think. Hmm. I'm just gonna use Armageddon and send another. I'm two level eaters, just in case. I'm not planning on exchange. I'm gonna go level eater effect, eat a level off. Level eater effect, eat a level off. Starlight, star bright. Make those two. It'd be a nine bill. That's the problem. I'm gonna do it. I need ultimate nightmare, so I can need two levels off, and then I can have ultimate nightmare and another Dora. So.
So if he gets rid of my terror and I summon all my mirror, I'm gonna totally go eat a level off, eat a level off, uh, Starlight Star Bright, make them all ten because I'll eat two levels off and twelve drop down to ten, make a door, then I'll have Ultimate Mirror in a door. Yeah, that seems like a legit plan. Alright, uh, uh, I am done with my turn. Air effect. He's like, I'm gonna win anyway. Alright, let's see this. Let's see you win. I'm not saying that I'm not being cocky or anything, I just wanna see you pull this off. You know, you're, you're the one being cocky and talking about that good shit, so let's go. You don't see Thunder and Dragon a lot, just because it's two level eight normal monsters. It's not, you know. I thought you were gonna go into a Felgrand or something. I'm about to say the power! A Thunderin? Just destroy my monsters? Eh, yeah. Destroy them, I don't care. God. I mean, thanks. Because I destroyed your monster? I guess you want your monster destroyed. I I don't have a choice. It's not like I did on purpose. Terror has to wipe, so. Shining Indul. That's fun. So what are you going to do with Shining Angel? I thought you just end your turn, bitch. You're getting a lot of monster sending cards. Another Galaxy Queen's Light would be nice. I got all the different levels. Galaxy, I mean, Message in a Bottle would be great. Yeah, get another Message in a Bottle. Oh, wait a minute. When I did Message in the Bottle and I activated Starlight, Star Bright, they were all zero. I forgot about that. I forgot they were dropped down to zero. Oops. Whatever. I could have fucking just exceeded with uh, Armageddon Knight and the level leader. Oh, you want to Dark Bright me? Okay. That's fine. I didn't even notice that. That's fine. Like I said, Dark Bright sucks. Never let your opponent draw, so... <laughs> Hmm. I have an idea. I I have an idea, guys. I have an idea, people. Okay, if we're gonna UBLC like, it up, we're gonna fucking party it up, people. I got an idea. It's gonna involve this called Haunted, but I got an idea. You're gonna be like, wow. Even if you have Pierce, I still take no damage. I take no damage. Period. From anything. Yes, it is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Pierce damage is battle damage! Really, nigga? Really? 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 Wow, so bad. So bad. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Be right back. First sentence. <laughs> quit, quit. Dude, you will master my ass. My evil deck is so much better. Looking pro. Pierce damage is not fucking. Pierce damage is not fucking battle damage. First sentence. Pierce battle damage is battle damage. Nigga. <laughs> And even to search it up, just search the definition of fucking Pierce damage, and it's right there in the first fucking sentence. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not fucking. It's effect damage. Like, you know what's not? It's, it's battle damage. You fucking scrub. Like, how many times are you gonna fucking argue with me? Like, oh, when you will motion my ass, when you will do so much better. Like, I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Like, shit, I've been, I've been doing it for how long? Anyway, the play that I was planning on doing was activating Call of the Haunted, of course, summoning you, Bell. And, of course, draw my card. Regeki. Eh, I don't need it. Uh, then, of course, going uh, level leader effect. Twice. I know. Twice. What? So, drop me down to nine. Drop me down to eight. 
Uh, I'd probably just succeed with CU Bell just because I don't want it on the field like that, so. And then, of course, CU Bell is. Oh, well, hold on. I gotta activate. Of course, I gotta activate Starlight Star, right? Make them all eight. Overlay these two into a Felgram. <laughs> yep, because I can do that. If I had another Felgram, it could be these two, but I only run one Felgram because I generally don't go into eights like that. I might take you out just because I don't like you. I, I never go into you, like, at all. You two, you two are like special occasions just because I generally don't like nines. And I guess I can go summon you Bell, eat a level off, and then go into you, but, you know, I'd rather just wait and turn you into Terror and then do it that way and get a Dora. So I might change the extra deck up a bit. Oh, yay! Let's get in the bottle. <laughs> So, there we go. I'm dealing with scrubs. But hey, that's vitamin Y for you, right? <laughs> His first fucking sentence right there. He's like, quit. Like, yep. He's like, I'm gonna win anyway. Quit. Fucking scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys at least got a laugh out of fucking scrub. So, I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of vitamin Y. So, tomorrow, I will see you guys with not only Cosmic e but also Webcam Duels, where I'll be using one of the three e decks that you guys commented and stated that you would like to see on Webcam Duels. I promise you, a lot of videos aren't going to be Webcam Duels, just only, you know, and you say, with the weekends off, I can go down to locals, take my camera, you know, uh, maybe do some pack openings, maybe record some duels down there, so, you know, get some deck profiles from people, so it's not only going to be just Webcam Duels, and, uh, you know, we can also uh, get back to doing some top fives, you know. Still trying to get some ideas. I had I had some ideas from Top Five, so you can see those as well. So we got a handful of videos coming to you guys for content, of course. But I just wanted to trust out at least one of the U Bell index for you guys. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Ram and Y. Like I said two level eaters is right. Three is too much because I definitely don't need to eat that many levels. But two is right just because I can go. You know, I just have an on just have an ultimate nightmare. Just eat two levels off, make them all the all level ten. Bam, Dora. Dora plus ultimate nightmare. Like, whoo, yeah. And that Felgram play wasn't that half bad either. So, uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Lime and Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Evo. And also like candles with uh, one of those three bell X. All right, people, thanks for watching.